This 200 percent uh, weighted detection on R&D, extending it for five years is obviously a very good measure. But the scope of that could have been extended to all forms of R&D, which is what CA, uh, through CA we have been uh, uh, presenting as well in terms of indirect work, in terms of uh, clinical trials, in terms of uh, contribution to a fund which will encourage and foster research and stuff like that. Uh, and this reduction in customs duty on probiotics is good. This could have been extended to other forms as well because uh, ultimately making medicine available for the common man at a lower price is uh, everybody's goal. Uh, but I think for the first time, um, a lot of work has been done with long-term future in mind in terms of, uh, especially in indirect taxes, which will go a long way in helping the economic growth, especially in sectors like agriculture, fertilizers, uh, coal and coke, iron ore, textile. And, and uh, these are the sectors, I think, in the long term, uh, will add value in the infrastructure and for the economy. And uh, I wish that for biotechnology and new chemical entity research and for human trials, if some exemption, both in terms of uh, investment exemption, in terms of the expenditure uh, weighted deduction, as well as for certain tax exemptions from the revenue point of view, if it were extended, it would spur manufacturing and exports, uh, which, is, uh, which is really missing in this. That's my take.